All right, it's been a while since I've been back in the Dragon Ball universe, but I'm back now and I'm super excited to jump into the new DLC. Well, it's not really new anymore, but the most recent DLC that has come out, and that is the Bardock Alone Against Fate DLC. I remember watching um, a bit about Bardock back in the day on uh, Toonami. Obviously, we know he, that's Goku's father, but I'm curious to know or curious to see what this deals, how this DLC is, because um, I know we jumped into Bardock's DLC, or not DLC, Bardock's story a bit in one of the um, uh, previous Dragon Ball uh, Super movies. Um, I think it was Dragon Ball Super Broly, the Broly movie that came out a couple of years ago. And uh, I'm wondering if it touches on that. I don't think it does. I think it just, well, maybe it does. I'm not sure. We'll see. Well, without further ado, let's just jump right in. On planet Vegeta, the lone voice of a crying baby rings out. Kakarot. <laughs> Here he is. So this is Bardock's kid, huh? Yeah. Clearly the son of a low-class warrior. His stats are ridiculously low. No doubt, he'll be sent off to some remote backwater planet. Yeah. You may be right. <laughs> his power may be low, but his voice sure isn't. By the way, do you happen to know where Bardock is? Hmm. Oh, he's probably already off on some mission. He's been gone for a while at this point. I would imagine he's wrapping things up right about now. He with his team? I, I would assume so, but... Let's see why Broly was pissed off. <laughs> Listening to Goku cry. Didn't they do, I forget, they also did a Bardock movie. I don't know if that's canon. But I know he turned Super Saiyan at one point, at the towards the end of the movie, but I don't know if that was canon. Maybe it was, I'm not sure. I don't think so. So, this is the target, huh? You guys ready to get started? Or uh, Fasha. <laughs> yeah, it was also. I'm, I'm, it's coming back to me. There was like a, it's there was a have some movie that there. came out. Do I don't know this. if that was canon, but I remember they did like a. Uh, oh shit, we're fighting out. There was like a um, take down multiple foes at once with the Z blast super attack and horde battles without support characters. Land hit, land hits on foes to charge the Z blast gauge. I press L. L1 R1 to activate fake the Z Blast. Z Blast gauge can be charged up to level three, letting you crush more foes with each level. Make sure to build up that blast. Okay. What was I saying? I haven't played in like a while, so I'm gonna be really rusty I'm trying to remember the controls with this. Oh, get out of here! What, what, what does he have? Oh shit! Yeah, but there was a special on Toonami that came out a while ago. I don't know if... But at the same time, I don't know if that was canon either. It's Like I said, it's been a while since I've dived into, like, Bardock's story. Other than what I've seen in, um... The, uh... 
the Broly movie. Well, I kind of like Paradox. Who's that? Oh, shit. And I think this is still on the hardest difficulty, so. I got the Z-Blast thing. I die, damn you! <laughs> That's dope. Good over here, Barda. How about you? Against trash like this, there's no way I wouldn't be okay. Yes. Body impacts, normal stuff. Oh, we have any support? Where are my support guys at? Oh, God. You know what's funny? I used to think, I think before, before, uh, oh shit, before the Broly movie, there was some, like, talks of, uh, Goku's mom. Shit. Uh, Goku's mom being, uh, oh my god. Being that woman. But I never believed it. Close. Come here. Oh, back up. Last one off. This hunk of rock is yeah, I'm super rusty. I could have done that way better if I had been continuously playing, but I hasn't. I haven't played this in like it was like a month. Bunch of little worms. About 400 clicks west. You're mine. I know there's two other DLC that's come out too. The inhabitants of the planet were completely wiped out. A typical job for the Saiyans who would conquer planets and prepare them for sale under the orders of Emperor Frieza. However, little did the Saiyan warriors know that they too would soon meet with a terrible fate. One man, Goku's father, Bardock, fought to resist that fate. This is his story. Yes. Kakarot. Bardock alone against fate. But yeah, there's two more DLC coming out. One of them we already know is the um, the Tenkaichi World Tournament uh, between Goku and Piccolo and during the Dragon Ball uh, series. 
I have yet to watch Dragon Ball, but um, I know I've, I've been people. A lot of people have been telling me to watch it already, so I'm looking forward to that DLC. I don't know what the second DLC is yet. I don't think that's been announced, but. Only those heads weren't so easy to pound in. Yeah, damn straight. Here's hoping the next planet's a better one. Right, Bardock? Yeah. You know, now that I think about it, we've all gotten loads stronger. I doubt that there's any planets out there tough enough to handle us. <laughs> hey. hey. You losers better not get too cocky. Low-class scum like you ain't gonna do crap. The hell? What was that? Just watch yourselves. Spend too much time dreaming about being on top, and you'll end up buried. Oh You're my lucky God. you get sent to easy planets that match your low power levels. That's right. Keep having fun picking on small-time game. That's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> You bastards! <laughs> well, you're not wrong. We can't get stronger wasting our time with such garbage. <laughs> you're tough guys, right? Maybe you could show us a thing or two. <laughs> with pleasure. All right, that's enough. Come on, we're all Saiyans here. Calm the hell down. Hey, these chumps are the ones who started it. Exactly. Ah, uh, forget about them. They're just jealous we're having a good time. And if we're going on power level, Bardock's got them all beat anyway. <laughs> Look, it's over. <laughs> Man, stupid jackasses. Forget about <laughs> it. We need to focus on our next job. Where are we heading? Kanasa. Kanasa? Yeah. It's a relatively civilized planet. But it's low on muscle. <laughs> so you're saying it's another boring ass job? I wouldn't say that. Shug Shugash? The facts, Shugash Tora. It's gonna be a full moon when we get there. Whoa! I'm missing other two. Serious? We get to go great ape on their asses? Damn. Shugesh. Shugesh Tora. Let's give him hell. <laughs> Finally, we can have some fun. Hey, another round here, and keep it coming, would ya? Time to celebrate. Let's mess this place up. <laughs> Gee, someone's in a good mood. Pasha. <laughs> the stars tremble. Monstrous march of the Saiyans. I just noticed she has like a one strap on her, her armor. That's pretty cool. Hey, Bardock! Boy, snoozing in the cafeteria? Wake the hell up! He is. What's morning already? Yes. You got work to do, right? Don't you think you ought to be getting ready? Nobody in there, right? Yes, I yet I hear the captain. Well, you can't see the opposite side, so. Else. Oh, yeah, no one's there. A while ago. Bastards, leaving me behind. You are a real heavy sleeper. You know that? Here, let me pay for the tap. No need. Where, Where do all those voices come? come from? Gotcha. Glad he's always got my back. All right, we already know about eating. So all the ones we already know about. And skip all that. Superpower protein.
Oh yeah, Bardock. I'll go ahead and give you a heads up too. I hear Cybermen have been roaming around outside recently. Great. Cybermen? You mean those weird looking green things? Yeah. Supposedly they've been going crazy whenever they see someone and just attack them. Shouldn't be a problem for a guy like you, but I figured you should know. What are they doing around Appreciate here? Appreciate that. They've never been in these parts before. No clue. Some say the things mutated and went rogue, while others say the Frieza Force spread them all over. Huh. That's weird. Just stupid rumors, I guess. Do me a favor and wipe them out if you see any. <laughs> sure, whatever. Search for key. By pressing L1 on the field. Oh, we already know this. Alright, so we're gonna have to deal with Cybermen, which piece of cake. Next job's on uh, Planet Kanasa. Planet Kanasa. Make my way over to the launch pad. Why does that name sound so familiar though? Oh, you already know that. Training grounds, location, yeah, you already know that. Blah blah blah. You already know that. Damn. Why'd those bastards leave me behind? Where the hell did they go? Oh, that guy. It's flying. Oh, I just... Oh, I was like, what is that sound? That's dope. I like that. Can you fly? That's really cool. I like that little detail. Where were they blasting from? Up here? If I had one complaint on the last job, it said I couldn't let loose. Oh. Hopefully... A hell of a lot more fun. Blast from the uh it's like a telepad. Hopefully you don't like run into me. Is another one come hop out? Oh, are they popping from that ah uh, whatever. I just wanted to see them up close. Never mind. It's a really cool detail. Unless they don't blast off when you're near it. I just noticed people are flying around. That's fucking cool. That makes it feel like so alive. Than uh, previous DLCs. Because, like, the thing that annoyed me... Well, not really annoyed me, but... I wish it could have been better was, like... The only thing that was moving about... That's so dope. The thing that was uh, moving about in the cities and all that stuff was just the cars and people were of course walking around and whatnot but having like Saiyans actually flying around and going about their merry way it's really cool so they're blasting from the helipads or not helipads the pads launching pads sorry I'm just observing all the detail all right head to the launch pad for or go to go to planet Kanasa of course, there is like um, side quests we could do. I may just do that on my own time. This is pretty cool. Side. Prince Vegeta's coming through. Vegeta? Hey, about that scrub? Watch your mouth, Grunt. That's Prince Vegeta. Oh, Prince Vegeta. Not King. I'm thinking of King Vegeta. Prince Vegeta. Come on. Don't just stand there. Get the hell out of the way. Whatever. <laughs> stand to attention. He's here. Look at little Vegeta and Na oh my God, Nappa with that <laughs> toupee, kind of top of his hair on top of his head. What the hell are you doing? Uh, all right, just a sec. Yeah, you sense how strong Bardock is. What's wrong? Huh? Something caught your attention. Oh yeah. I uh, 
accidentally left my scouter on search mode. It picked up a reading from that guy over there. Said his power level was around 10,000. That's so impressive. That's higher than yours. Oh, Barlock was stronger than busted. Nappa. I'll get it fixed, I didn't know that. If that's canon. 10,000 still no match for me. I'm going to get even stronger. The whole universe will tremble before me. <laughs> you got that right, Prince Vegeta. And I'll be right there with you. Vegeta sounds weird. <laughs> when he's a kid. Have a safe journey. Phew. Man, them stopping by like that made me real nervous. My heart was pounding. But yeah, that brat. He's just as freakishly intimidating as ever. Are we gonna see King Vegeta That's for sure. at some point? Oh, I, 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 uh, I didn't mean to. Uh, um, oh. I meant to say that's our Prince Vegeta for you. Nothing like my kid. He's great. Prince Vegeta, huh? Hey, hey, you listening to me? I'm serious. That's what I meant. He doesn't I care, he man. Some spoiled brat. But looks like I was wrong. Hey, you hearing me? Huh? Um, please don't tell anyone what I said, okay? All right. Well, that was a waste of time. Whatever. Better get going. All right, let's go. Let's go to Planet Kanasa. Hey, Bardock. Next job's on Kanasa, right? Yeah. I hear there's gonna be a full moon over there. Perfect timing for Saiyans. I wish I could join you. I want to let loose too. Heh. <laughs> you leave the rampaging to us fighters. Hell ye. You're late. Yeah, something we usually say to you. Everything all taken care of? You bet. I've got your rations packed in there too. All right, let's move out then. I don't remember the other guy named the tall guy. Hmm. Come here first. I don't second. know if he talks, does he? Go on then. <laughs> Worst damn timing. What does he want? Hell if I know. So listen. We just finished performing a checkup on the boy. His power level is extremely low, and he is indeed your son. The hair confirms it. What the hell? You called me over here for this? <laughs> oh, wait, you don't want to see him? I ain't got time for that. I've got a real fun job to get to. Father of the year. So, what did he want? Damn, Bart, I can give you a shit about his son. My son was just born. Oh, yes. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, hold up, Bardock. Shouldn't you go see him? Yeah. If you don't hurry up, I'm leaving you behind. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> Whatever. Time to go. It's interesting. In the move, the Broly movie, he got the feeling that. Bardock cared a bit more about his son or his children, um, but in this uh, rendition, it's different. But then again, I don't well, I don't know if that part of the uh, what they showed in the Broly movie was taking place after this, or I don't know. I guess it's a different retelling of uh, Bardock in the movies versus this time. What's that? A meteor? No clue. Yeah, this is definitely a retail. This is definitely uh, based off the um, Kanasa, huh? the original show on the Bardock. What a dump. Not much longer till the full moon. <laughs> While we wait, why not warm ourselves up? Looks like they're thinking the same thing. All right, a welcoming party. We'll split into two groups. Me and Fasha will go with Bardock. Hell yeah, Tora and Fasha. Let me do my own thing. Oh my God, no, Bardock. No, no. Once you get started, there's no bringing you back. We're coming with you. 
so. I'm with Borgos then. Borgos is his name. You watch yourself. He does too. talk. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Where should we get started? For now, let's head toward the city and see how things stand. All right. Finally. All right, guys. Keep your body counts high. <laughs> let's go wild. Yeah. <laughs> Bardock's Riot Dry Javelin Super Attack is now available. As you request through the main story, you will gain access to super new super attacks. Whether you acquired them through the story or from a training grounds location, you need to set them up. You know, I already know this. What do you think? How strong are these guys? Well, can't really get my hopes up. Which I'm gonna do that now. That's a dope drawing. Um. Let's see. Riot Javelin, I want to get rid of, get rid of the body impact, get the Riot Javelin. My attack tree. Okay, okay. We got some work to do. Oh my gosh, yeah, we got a lot of work to do. All right, I don't have much. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. We've come a long way to get here. Let's hope it's worth a trip. All right, uh, there's a training grounds we just passed and where the hell are we going? Is this Cyberman or no? Just looking at the city. Come on. We'd better start looking around. Yep. Sounds like they've got plenty of people in the city. Looks like it, yeah. All that's left is to flatten this town and the job's done. That's true. But this number of folks alone is a bother. I'm getting readings from several spots around the city. Probably their bases. Aiming from there might be the best plan. If we attack the bases, that ought to lure some of those dimwits from the city. Beating around the bush. Come on, don't be like that. There's some time before the full moon. Let's just take it easy till then. Hmm. <laughs> Exterminate the Knossens in the enemy base city. Hordes of foes weigh weight in numbers proportional to the enemy strength level. There are many bases located throughout the area and challenging enemies inside that will make them call reinforcements from the city. When base battles will lower the enemy strength level, this reduces enemy numbers in the city, making fights that they're easier. Destroy all the enemies in as many bases as you can. Okay. Yo, know, there's some crazy strong canasses over here. Okay, frankly, they may be too tough for us. Hey, Borgos, what? You have to go and say that. Well, the cat's out of the bag. Swing on by if you go and take a look for yourself. What in the? Those guys are having a rough time against a bunch of Kanasins. <laughs> Man, how pathetic can you get? Hey. Let's swing by and check on them. I'm curious what, see what counts as crazy strong around here. Sure. Works for me. Let's check it out. What base should we start from? Hey, Bardock. Dead set on charging into the city. I won't stop you. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I should like maybe lower the enemy strength a bit. I don't think we're strong enough to fight that thing, though. No, but I mean, we could try. Hold on, let me try. Oh God, we may die here. I'm gonna let y'all know. Who, who are you people? No point introducing ourselves to dead men like you. Oh no, it's an enemy raid! We need reinforcements! Seems like they've come from the city too. All according to plan. Well, time to cut loose. Okay. For sure. Okay. Let's start with these guys. 
Oh, level oh. Got his new ability too. Yeah, jeez, shit. Come here. What is R1? Oh, that's the uh, support. Never mind. Shit. Not here. Come here. Get him out of here. Yeah. Alright, need some more key. Alright. Should be a easy piece of cake. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought this would be like super hard and it's not at all. It's just like a bunch of bunch of just like weak enemies all but I get out of here bro. We're trying. Dead. Some more key. No, no, no. Got it here. Dead. Should kill like a couple of them, yeah. Here we go. It's just basically a train for me, right? Uh, sense. Stop launching that shit. Come Done. Uh, excuse you. Oh, I missed my moment. Excuse you. Damn. Thank you. Alright, we have 95. About less than 50 more. Excuse you. Need you to die. You're dead. Come here. Come here. Shit. Did you die? Die. Pardon? That weak shit out of here. Let me show you what My god. Get me out of here. Out of here. 
No. Got that freak shit out of here. Freak. I'm trying to charge up you guys are still poking me. Oh, there's a strong guy. I'm gonna get to full power. Exactly. Hey. I didn't even use a help item. I don't even think I have any. Put a fork in this spot. It's done. There may be some stragglers in the tower. Smash and bash? Alright. Destroy base by defeating foes inside. Destroy targets with key blasts and wipe out the enemy. Destroy base drop items to collect. Once you do oh we already know this. Enemy strength level has gone down, so they're in level three now. Everyone who was hanging on must have dropped off this mortal coil by now. Just to be on the safe side. Huh? Get this. There's loads of them. This is gonna be a scouter. Maybe so. If you don't move your ass, I'm gonna beat you to all of them. That's a challenge to me. Hey, we're a team. We should be working together. <laughs> Easy there, Chief. All right, I could now. go what she said. to the city now and mollywop them, but I'll take. I guess I'll do one more. I don't feel like I. I think we could. I think we can do one. Just fine. Oh, let me register this. That's already registered. Is there a campfire? Oh, I don't need one. Okay, I thought I needed one. Um, fuck it. We're gonna go to the city. Well, not a total pushover. We're going to the city. Currently at level strength three, you're in for a rough battle. A no, I, I, wait, hold on. I was gonna go for it. Now, I may die. All right, I may die. You've been on quite the rampage. But don't think we'll ever let you touch this city! Huh. Better show that spunk while you can. You're outmatched. Don't expect any mercy! <laughs> My fellow Colossians, we must defend our planet! Sure. Well now, let's get to work. Sure. Yeah. We won't let you oh, you're level 26, okay. 630 630 okay we're gonna be here for a while Excuse you. Come here. I'm gonna need that C, uh, that uh, Z thing to come up at some point soon, hopefully. Got it. Excuse you. Alright. Oh my god. 
fuck out of here. <laughs> you know, it's gonna suck if I die. Um, I don't want to die throughout this whole thing because I don't want to start this over. Look, I'm under orders, man. It's part of my job. Gotta make a living, dude. Sorry, I gotta kill your species, but you know, it is what it is. Right. I thought I could get the other guy to sit there. Those three. Okay, it's usual. Oh, god damn it. Shit. Excuse y'all. You all die. Oh, thank you. Get out of here. I don't know if I've ever had this high of a combo. I don't know if that matters or unlocks like a trophy or something like that. Yeah, Jesus Christ, okay. So if I hadn't done that, one tower might have been at like near a thousand. Excuse you. There we go, there's a Z. I was like, why is it not working? How many we killed? Okay, okay, okay. Get a good sizable dent into them. Come here, you gotta, I gotta kill you. Get out of here. Excuse you. Shit. Oh, don't do any crazy shit. Come here. Mm -hmm. How the fuck? I need to kill you. Come here. I need you to die. Okay. 
Move out the way, move out the way. Yeah. No, you won't. But I will do you. Oh my god. Okay. Almost through this. Okay. I think I, they're almost built up. I think I have, like maybe two more moves from them. I can have the, another uh, another rush. Excuse you. Got my face. Out of here. All right, he's Taurus full. Right, I need one more for her. Shit. We're good. We're good. Another combo coming. Alright. I mean, we killed. Alright, one more should be fine. Let me show you what I've got. Alright, that's good. Yeah, get out of here. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Yes. Run. Okay, yeah, this is much easier than I thought. If I had to like struggle and fight for 600 single people, then that would suck. I'll be here for like at least an hour and a half, two hours. Oh no, 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 no. Excuse you. Alright, he's full. And she's about to get her attack. Alright. Alright, let's go. How many? 25? Come on. Oh, okay, that's why. Yeah, you're gonna let these last two. Oh, I'm gonna charge up. Let's go. Come here. It's like level 29, so. Got it. I'm getting your tails behind. Whoop. Alright, got one more left after this. Oh no! Okay. Okay. Out of here. Right. 
This guy's not dead yet. Jesus Christ. The trash dude. Damn, Toro. Worked up a little sweat. Thirst for destruction still isn't satisfied. A B Whatever. Whatever. That's most of them. We didn't even need to become great apes. Still looks like we've got some stragglers here and there. Not too much longer until the full moon. In that case, let's kill some time with the leftovers until night falls. Are we just killing everybody? Oh boy. Arda, it's time. Right. You bastards are done. That's really cool. But they're fucked. I like that armor as a as a rosary. Oh, and that's how he got his uh, scar. <laughs> You're fucked, dude. Welp. Fans cannot be stopped in the light of the full moon. Team Bardock makes full use of power to cross planet Kanasa's forces. Damn. <laughs> that's what you get for not being more careful. Oh, that's he got the yeah, scar on Bardock. his face. I thought it was Bardock. Guess but Bardock already has a scar on his celebrating face. Celebrating your son's birth and all. Celebrating my son's birth? <laughs> sure, whatever. We're done here, so you should head back to planet Vegeta and see the little tyke. Why the hell would I waste my time with that pathetically hopeless pipsqueak? It's your son, dude. What kind of fool do you take me for? Count me out. <laughs> Suit yourself. What a dad. You know, guys, we ought to thank Lord Frieza. He's been treating us good for a long time now. But what's Lord Frieza want with a dump of a planet like this anyway? Well, supposedly, there's some sort of weird psychic energy on this rock. At least, that's the rumor anyway. Not sure if Lord Frieza really believes that, but I hear he's been after it for quite a long time now. Oh, is that how, that's how Frieza gets like the thought of the Saiyans being insanely powerful and he has to kill him. Tulu. Or oh, Tulo. That's how he gets the ability to see in the future. I remember this. He caught me off guard. Hear me? Just now, I've hit you with my fabled future punch technique. You should now see that you and your kind are doomed. Toro's armor is sick. What the hell are you talking about? There is nothing. Nothing but annihilation in your future. You will all be wiped out. Just like what happened to us. Dude, it's How burning it alive. Knowing the future. Knowing that your days are numbered. 
What a joke! The Saiyan race is unbeatable! That guy honestly thought we'd suffer? Give me a break! Hey, Bardock! Bardock! Hey, Bardock! Snap out of it! Bardock! The hell's wrong with you? What are you doing? Yeah, no, he's, I think he, this is when he has the dream or a vision. Maybe. Could be wrong. All right, back to Planet Vegeta. Oh God, Zaron and Dodoria. We've just received word that Planet Kanasa is ours. Good. That puts us about one month ahead of schedule. So who did it? Who was in charge of clearing out that place? A band of insignificant low-class Saiyan warriors. Saiyans. Those guys have been putting in the work lately. Some of them are indeed remarkable. Take that Prince Vegeta, for example. He possesses a power level well beyond his years. And that's not all. Individually, they don't amount to much, but in large numbers, they can have immense power. <laughs> you sound scared of them, Zarbon. <laughs> Hardly. But they could prove to be a nuisance if we don't do something about them. I mean, there's no telling when another Vegeta will show up. And if enough of them were to rally behind a Saiyan like that... They would become a thorn in my side? Oh, uh, indeed. Hmm. So it starts from there. Zarbon hadn't said anything. All the Saiyans will probably be alive so, still. How's he doing? Well, physically speaking, he's completely healthy. But his brain waves are another matter. Nothing we can do about it. I guess Bardock's gonna have to sit this one out. W what? What happened to me? What the hell's going on? There is nothing, nothing but annihilation in your future. You will all be wiped out, just like what happened to us. How does it feel knowing the future? Knowing that your days are numbered? Yep. You've awakened. Hold on, I'll open the capsule for you. What the hell was that just now? A dream? No, it was different. It felt so real. A planet blowing up. A pod heading for a blue planet. Who was that kid? <laughs> what a bunch of crap. <laughs> you seem to be having a nightmare. Are you okay? Obviously, the kid is your yeah, kid. I'm built better than guys like you. Where are Tora and the others? They were dispatched to Planet Meat under the orders of Lord Frieza. What? Damn it! I can't believe they left me behind. I think that's Planet where. Meat, huh? oh, okay. That's not far. All right. Wait, Bardock! Need to see your son. How does it feel? Knowing that your days are numbered. <laughs> Kakarot. A 
power level of two. Garbage. <laughs> garbage. <laughs> Don't call your old child garbage. Said so defiantly. So foully. Garbage. Gotta get to planet meat before Tora and the guys take all the glory. That is not happening. All right, uh, we are going to stop right here. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be a two-parter. So uh, in the next session, we'll pick up right where we're leaving off to head back, head to Planet Meat to meet up with our uh, teammates. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.